The first thing I lost was my name. Uh, you know, being uh, Israel, being a country of uh, many, you know, immigrants from many, many different places, for many years it had a very strict policy of melting pot, which means to blend in all the different immigrants from the different places in the world and create a new Israeli, a new Sabra, which, of course, was supposed to be bright-skinned and, and blue-eyed and, and, and Ashkenazi, European, basically. Right. And I wasn't that. So the first, time I, the first thing I lost was my name. I didn't choose to uh, voluntarily to, to change my uh, beautiful Persian name. <laughs> I, I remember it very clearly. I was a nine-year-old kid sitting in a classroom, barely speaking their language, and my teacher just said, well, now you're in Israel, you're an Israeli, you cannot go by your Persian name anymore, you need to choose right now a Hebrew name. And at the time, I only knew three, two of the names belonged to my cousins, so I felt <laughs> badly about stealing well, right. their names. So I just kind of mumbled, okay, let it be Oli, and, uh, and that's how I became Oli. Wow. And so so you, was, you decided at nine, and then you went home and told I your parents that... Yeah, my name is Orly. <laughs> my parents weren't even in Israel. That was the time that they went back to Iran. We were in a boarding school. So when they came back a few months later, they found their two children with new names wow. and new identities. Wow. 